Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I got a really interesting one for you today. Here lies a Panasonic Toughbook CF28. This is a awesome, rugged Windows XP designed Toughbook. And I got my hands on one for only $30 at a flea market believe it or not. It has everything original with it. It came with a bag, all sorts of stuff inside. Um, not, they're just like simple stuff, the stuff I don't really need to show you. Um, it came with a power supply. Um, the only negative about this laptop is that the screen is not very bright and the battery is completely dead. Let's take a look at this first. So we got the bottom of it here. We actually got the Windows uh, license on it. I was wrong. This originally came with Windows 98, second edition, actually. And yes, it is a Panasonic Toughbook CF28. And it is a genuine one as well. Um, not, I mean, it's got a little bit of wear, as you can see. It, it was somewhere a little bit in its life. Um, the handle doesn't really snap down anymore because um, I have a Panasonic Toughbook CF31, uh, I think. So you got your... Uh, Got your Ethernet there, uh, phone cable. Um, this has got a couple, like, I think there's, like, special, like, PCI cards you can plug in there. I could be wrong. Remember, I'm still getting used to this stuff, so don't uh, hate me too much. Uh, power a jack. Back here, we have this big drop-down. Got all kinds of different ports there. One USB, all this stuff, EGA. Um, this is, yeah, these are just individual ports that you can open for just like a specialty item. Definitely, I'm happy that the USB is like that for sure. Got our other side here. I think this is our floppy drive port. Yep, there it is. Nothing in it, of course. That's going to be very helpful. All right, let's uh, I'll plug it back in here. Let's open it up. Wow, look look at that in all of its glory what a really interesting computer i will say there's something about this laptop that is just so cool let's power it on shall we got the little uh kind of push down scroll wheel here as you could call it Like I said, the screen is really dim on it, as you can see. We're gonna zoom into the screen now so we can see it. All right, so the checksum is bad, which is, it's okay. So it's a Intel R Pentium, 800 megahertz. It's got about, what is it, 512? No, 247 megabytes of system RAM, I believe. System configuration data updated, there was an error, and then time and date, of course. So we're going to do F1 to resume. Like I said before, I thought it was Windows XP when I first turned, or I thought it was uh, gonna be Windows 98 when I first turned it on, but behold, Windows XP. Now the thing about this too is I think there's an actual legit license of Windows XP on here, so I wanna be able to save that and make sure uh, I get that there. It's uh, definitely a quiet hard drive, I like that. The cool thing about this tough book is that it's, it is just like my CF31. It is indeed touchscreen. So I'm gonna do waste management. Um, we're just gonna load into that one. I'm gonna X that out there. And there we are. Look, look at that. I wish it, I think the screen does have a tough, like tough cover in, on it, I believe. But uh, yeah, this is, this is really, this is really cool. So I'm just gonna go in the, I think it's, what is it, properties here? It's a little slow, of course. I mean, it's gonna be right here, system properties. So yes, indeed, it is a Microsoft Windows XP Professional. It is version 2002, service pack two, registered to that company. And uh, yep, an Intel R Pentium 3. And it is a mobile, see the screen, see what screen did their screen does that sometimes. A little weird, not sure why. But it is a mobile CPU, 8 megahertz, and then of course, 797 megahertz of, and it's 240 uh, megabytes of RAM. Really cool, really cool PC. That is all we have for today with this computer. If you want to see more, press the subscribe button. 
and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.